Hey, we have got another very interesting person here, Ronnie Khan. Did I say that correctly? You did. Hello. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> and Ronnie is from a very important charity called Oz Harvest. And uh, you know that we do quite a few things with community organisations. Yep. And you asked me, Ronnie asked me, why did I ask Oz Harvest? Well, because it's a cooking and lifestyle show and you also work in the community sector. So I thought, what a great marriage. Absolutely. It makes so much sense to have us. But thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share any part of Oz Harvest with any of your guests that are watching okay. today. I'm the lucky person that actually started Oz Harvest because five years ago I decided I wanted to make a difference in my life. I had worked very hard, I've, I have my own events company and, and I've been very privileged. I came here 20 years ago with very little and as I say I've worked hard, I have two healthy sons and it felt like it was time to give back. Because I had seen leftover food, I, do, I put on special events and at all my events I kept seeing that there was food left over. So what Oz Harvest does, I started an organisation that acts as the middle person to connect leftover perishable food from the community and we deliver it to disadvantaged men, women and children. It comes from every deli and takeaway and boardroom and film shoot and events and parties anywhere where food is sold or produced by a licensed caterer that's left over at the end of every day and it gets collected in a refrigerated van and delivered to over 150 different agencies. When you have food left over, our van comes, collects it, and within an hour it's on the table of someone in need. When we started Oz Harvest, I made a commitment that we would not give food to homeless people on the street. But what we would do is we would deliver it to agencies that service those people in need. So it goes to over 150 different agencies. That's incredible. We're non-denominational, we're non-sectarian. So that means if you think the salvos are important, that's cool because we deliver to the salvos. Yeah. If you like Mission Australia, that's cool because we deliver to them. We deliver to any agency, soup kitchen or charity that provides food to anyone in need for free. That's the, great. The condition is they have to give our food away for free. How is Oz Harvest funded? Well, okay, so that's my biggest job. We are funded by either corporates, private foundations, or, philan or individual philanthropists. It costs us less than a dollar to provide a meal. So let's say, Yanni, you gave me $10 today for Oz Harvest. I could deliver 10 more meals than I could this morning without your $10. Well, the lucky part is that our core founding partner is an organization called Macquarie Bank. The Macquarie Foundation gave me our first seed money. Wow. And luckily, thanks to them giving us that money, it gave us credibility and allowed so many more other corporates to take us seriously and realize that they could invest in us. We're a transport and logistics company. It's just that we pick up our food for free and we deliver it for free. So we run like a business. So our model is a very business-like model, but we're a charity. How do you track down the donors? Do they, do they approach you or do you actually, you know, pitch it to them or email them or something? Or is it word of mouth? It's a lot of it's word of mouth and then suppliers tell other people who tell other people. So I'm here to tell all of you that in May 2005, the Civil Liabilities Amendment Act came in, which made it legal for food donors to give food without fear of liability yes. to charities. Yeah, because in the past, I remember years ago, uh, you know, um, you'd go into delis, for example, and they'd yeah. say, you know, like they would literally be throwing out the food because they weren't allowed to give it to anyone. Yeah, that law has come in in New South Wales. In As of uh, December, we had that law changed in Queensland and yeah. South Australia All because right. we're planning on opening Oz Harvest in both of those cities. Are there affiliated services the equivalent to Oz Harvest in those states? Well, first of all, Oz Harvest now has opened up in Canberra, delivering to over 28 different agencies in the ACT. We deliver ourselves as far as Wollongong. We are affiliated with an organisation in Melbourne called Fair Share, okay. who do something similar. They actually take food and cook it and then deliver cooked food out. Oh, so they do okay. something similar. But, but they're the closest affiliation in Melbourne Fair Yeah, share. there's also okay. another organisation in Melbourne called Second Bite. So there are two organisations right. in Melbourne, and there's nobody in Brisbane, Adelaide, or Perth 
What I need in order for us harvest to go to any city, we need two things. We need funding and we need to know what agencies are out there. So we're in the process of doing our due diligence in all those cities. The fantastic thing about Oz Harvest is that it is democratic on a health level because, because the people in need are eating food that, that normal people will, will, would eat rather than the cheap home brand garbage sometimes, you know, because, because I've noticed that, that, you know, people that don't have much money uh, end up being quite compromised. We are taking a resource that exists. Yeah, exactly. We have saved yeah. over a thousand tons of food from going to landfill. Yeah. That means that we have an environmental yeah. impact yes. as well. Yeah, it's environmentally so, friendly. Absolutely. Yeah. So and we tick a, a lot of boxes because we've yeah. stopped food from going to waste. Yeah. We're taking that food and recycling and redistributing it. Yeah. And it's very important for people to understand. We are not talking about the food that's left on your plate. So don't think you don't have to go out and when you're in a restaurant, you shouldn't finish what's on your plate. It's the food that doesn't come out the kitchen. It's the yeah. extra rice, the extra salad. Yeah, it's the surplus. It's the surplus. Last month, we collected the equivalent of 105,000 meals that's in Sydney incredible. and delivered it to over 150 what, different agencies. That's, that's about 3,000 meals a day, isn't yeah. it? That's amazing. Yeah. With people yeah. uh, who work at Oz Harvest, are they volunteers or are they paid or is it a bit of both? It's a bit of both because I knew that if we had drivers that were volunteers and an, an organization, whether it be a boardroom or whether it be a caterer, called and said, you need to be there because we're vacating the premises or we're leaving or yep. we finish at three o'clock. If I was dependent on a volunteer, yes. you know, it's Uncle hard. Joe might have broken his, his yeah. toe that minute and called in and said, sorry, I'm I not going to make it. That's yep. why we knew that I needed paid drivers. Yes. And we need a logistics and operational person because yep. that we're all about a telephone. It's phone calls come in yes. and the trucks go, go around yeah. collecting. Yeah. We have two paid people in the office and we have five paid drivers. That's incredible. And the rest is you, all volunteer. Okay. If people would like to get involved, obviously they'd get online. They can get online. Our website address, am I allowed to say that? Yes, you can. It's www.ozharvest.org. O-Z-H-A-R-V-E-S-T. Our phone number in Sydney is 2 But the best is shoot us an email, yeah. tell us your skills or ask what you can do. How fabulous. Thank Thanks. you for coming in. Thank you Ronnie so Carr much for the Oz opportunity. Harvest. Cool. Okay, this is brilliant. I, I love this kind of stuff. It, it's about creating a better community. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again very soon. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.